Hey guys, I'm back with some updates on the Fujifilm X-T4 rumors. Uh, there's actually some some early photos, early release photos over at the Fuji rumor site. So I wanted to share those with you and give you some thoughts on some of the specs that I'm reading. Some um, a little disappointing, others that I'm really actually excited about. And it's not what you actually think as far as the, the most excitement that I have. Let's get into it. So here's the pictures. You can see that it has the flippy screen like the X-T200. Now, me personally, I kind of wish they, they did like the Panasonic full frame where it's a best of both worlds. It flips out and it goes up or down like the X-T2 and X-T3. Unfortunately, that does add a lot of size. So if I had to choose the size of the camera, over this screen, I'll pick this screen. Yeah, I want my cake and eat it too, but if I had to choose, I'm glad to see the flippy screen. And then the resolution, we should see a huge bump in both resolution and functionality if it truly has the X-T200 screen. The X-T2, X-T3, the back screens are a bit lackluster. They have like a one million dot resolution and the X-T200 is almost three times that at like 2.7, 2.75, 2.74 million dots, something like that. Also, you can see that it's traditional functions as far as the, um, the D-pad, the, um, the Joey stick. Um, on the back of the camera, you can see, it's hard to see towards the top here, the autofocus on button, it's got a raised level so it's easier to find. The Q button is kind of switched with the, um, the um, uh, auto exposure lock button, which I think that is a very good uh, switch. One of the things I really hope that this camera has, especially now that they have the autofocus on, is like Fuji. I'm sorry, like Sony, they actually, you can hit the button. Uh, one of the things I loved about my Sony camera is I could leave it in a traditional autofocus mode. And if I'm doing a portrait and I want to use the autofocus, I can program a button and just on demand use I auto, auto, oh, can't talk, I autofocus and then unselect or remove my thumb from the button. And it's now on traditional focus. Sometimes you want especially when you're walking around doing photography. Sometimes you want to um, do a portrait of someone and you want the eyes, and other times you might want something next to the individual. So I really miss that with the Sony. I hope this <clears throat> button change gives us that feature. I, I really am pretty excited. One of the things that, that I was wrong with, but I'm kind of disappointed, is the, the battery. Now the battery looks huge. If you look in comparison, I did the uh, comparison the MAH to the Sony Z battery. This one's actually a little bigger, like 2300 compared to uh, 2200 something. So about the same. So as long as Fuji can manage the processor and everything else as far as efficiency, we should see close to the same battery life as the Sony cameras. So I'm, I'm really excited to see what they do as far as battery length, but I'm expecting similar similar results to what the Sony uh, full frame batteries have, which is an awesome battery life. But the grip size, one of the things that I, I love the Fuji about the function and the form and everything, I wish it had the bigger grip. Um, some of the early renditions of the, the like almost like a hybrid between the X-T4 and the X-H series, doesn't look like we're gonna see it. It's kind of disappointing to me. Um, the battery is still in a traditional sense. It is bigger because IBIS and um, I'm sure the battery is thicker, like 25, 30, 40% more. I don't know. But it is in the conventional, conventional manner. I wish they made the grip bigger and somehow managed to fit it within the grip itself. Um, again, the, the side door opens like it normally does. But the layout of the camera looks like a traditional XT series camera. The wheels, the dials, and the uh, shutter release all look in the same area. One of the pictures of the front, and here's the front picture here. Again, we have the manual focus, continuous, and um, single focus. Uh, it's all traditional. The only thing, the autofocus assist light has moved up a little bit, as well as the camera looks a little wider. Um, they didn't actually have a, here's a couple more pictures, they didn't actually have a top down or total front on picture, but they did have 
a someone did a rendition between the X-T3 and the X-T4. As you can see, it looks a little wider, maybe just a hair taller. Um, the dials look a little bit beefier, but the overall camera just stays with the X-T line as far as you know the form of it. Um, some of the early renditions had the, again, hybrid where the shutter release, it's more a, um, a natural feel than the X-T series. I, I was kind of torn on that. I, I do kind of like the, the, the look, uh, the shape and everything of the X-T series, but as far as the usability, the grip would have been nice, um, and same thing with the ear, ear goes of the shutter release. So that said, um, you know, I'm still excited, but I kind of wish I would have seen a more of a hybrid. The only thing hybrid this camera has to the XHC series is the IBIS. So I don't think it's a true hybrid. I think this is just an evolution of the XT camera. So let's look at the specs. I said that there's some specs that I'm really excited about that you would not expect me to be excited about and some that um, not so much. One of those that I uh, was kind of bummed about was the screen. I wish I would have seen a, a hybrid screen like on the Panasonic full frame where you could go on like a photography points where it just flip down, flip up, where this camera, you know, you have to come out and turn it. If again, given a choice, uh, because of size and functionality, I'll take a flippy screen over the other. But if they could have made it where it did both and still been small, I know it's your cake and eat it too. But that would have been ideal. Um, but not for the the sake of size. I'll I'll take it and and be happy for the flippy screen. One of the the items that really 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 stood out that it's actually a a, a decrease as far as overall specs is no 6K. Why am I so excited and, and about no 6K? It comes down to the price. I have no ambitions, no need for 6K. I'm sure there's people out there that do, um, but most of us don't need 6K. I don't even know if I'll use the 4K 60. And with that, if it did have 6K, we're gonna look at like a $2,000 camera. Uh, so you're gonna pay for that. There's not too many cameras outside of like Blackmagic that have 6K. And I was even calling for like 6K 60, which is just crazy. Um, with that bump, it's gonna be a huge difference in price. Um, my spec or my speculation now, if I'm looking at, let me jump over to the XT3. You can get an XT3 right now, although um, actually as of yesterday, this actually went uh, changed. But as of yesterday, you can get the XT3 with uh, body only for 1300 Now, you could get the XT3 with the battery grip. They had a sale on it for the same price. Uh, it was a, a pretty good savings. And right now, I'm looking at it only is the 1299 So where am I speculating that this new XT4 is going to come in at? Personally, I think it'll be that $14.99, fit, probably $15.99. If I had to guess this camera without 6K, because if you think about it, right, so what are you getting? A bigger battery? Yep, so so does the competition. I mean, you're catching up. You can't ask someone to pay a premium if you're trying to catch up to the market. Uh, IBIS, so many companies, manufacturers have IBIS in that $1,500. You're talking crop sensor still, like the, um, the Sony, what is the A6600? Um, and, uh, yeah, the battery, same thing, the A6600. So when you think about where does the camera position in the market, it does try to compete with the, uh, full frame Sony's, but really since it's a crop or APS-C size sensor, it's really trying to compete with the A6600. Uh, you know, you got the IBIS, you have the 24 ish megapixel sensor, which that's one of the specs on here that is also kind of disappointing. Let me find it again. It's a 26 megapixel of the X-T3. So they didn't change the sensor. I was hoping for a sensor change, but doesn't look like they're gonna change it. Not a huge, huge deal uh, because it's, you can still get great results. I was expecting or hoping for not megapixel jump. I was hoping for a 20, even if it went to a 24 megapixel and just increase the dynamic range, a stop. And people said stop is a ton, one stop is a ton. But um, yeah, I we didn't see anything in God knows how many years as far as high dynamic range or low light performance. And I just don't think that's asking a lot. Uh, dual SD card slots, 
um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not surprised about this. I thought maybe with the 6K, they were going to put one of those faster card slots in there. But without 6K, this makes the most sense. Um, so really no change in sensor, no change in card slots. Um, the uh, new sub dials below, um, again, I, I don't know what that is, the sub dials. And um, uh, they look about the same. Um, I guess that's where you change it from video mode. And they, they're they kind of the same, just maybe an updated version of, of the pictures and a few things like that. Uh, deeper buffer um, than this camera it should see some better on on some fast shooting some you know burst mode uh, thicker to, to incorporate the ibis uh, no 6k already talked about that bigger battery again it should be very similar to the sony z series battery uh, and it says it looks like the nikon en el15 now there's a picture of it over here uh, let me go up i don't see why everybody's talking about it, it looks like a battery uh, <laughs> Uh, everybody's talking about it looks like the Nikon battery it looks like the night so I mean all these batteries except for that square battery that we traditionally have seen uh, Canon looks like this um, Nikon's look like that Sony's batteries it looks like a, a camera battery so um, and, and the reason it has those bumps and my guess is that in order if you look at some of these camera batteries in order to make them cheaper they are probably using like lithium ion cells within the casing so uh, they don't pass on the savings to us but that way you can manufacture the shell and just have typical lith lithium ion cells within that shell so you know they can source them through you know panasonic or one of the big good brands of cells and then have them manufactured very, you know, inefficiency or very effectively and cheaply. Um, so I think that's why those bumps are there, not because of a design or trying to bump out the grip. So, um, and you know, that said, uh, let's get back into some of the other specs. I'm jumping around here, guys. So the battery, yep, looks like that. Um, identical, so the, the look and feel is going to be similar to the X-T3. I'm hoping, and I think it'll have a little bit bigger of a grip. It says basically the same grip. But with the slightly thicker camera to, again, hold on the IBIS or to incorporate the IBIS, I think we'll see a little bit of a, a, a grip change as far as how it feels in the hand. Um, the flippy screen, yep, um, excited about that. The Fujifilm X-T4 has exposure compensation dial. Um, yep, again, just like the X-T3, um, we're not going to see the LCD like the H X-H2. I wasn't thinking we'd ever see that in this camera. It's just not the camera. Um, there will be exactly the same amount of buttons. Yep, same positions. Yep. Hopefully, or <laughs> hopefully. However, the buttons will be marked differently. Yeah, and I think that's a, a good thing. Uh, one thing I, I don't see in this camera, I wish we had it, is backs, backlit buttons i think that would be really cool if you're shooting at night um yeah you're supposed to have muscle memory and the texture or the bump outs will help with that i just think it would be really cool um, i know some of the the high high end nikons have it i think it's really cool uh sub dials different markings yep uh auto assist lamp i already mentioned that it looked like it moved to uh, closer to the top and it's just overall a little bit bigger than the xt3 um, yeah, but it just says because of the battery and the IBIS. So what do you guys think? I think um, I'm buying this camera. Um, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to go for $15.99 um, because then the 6K is gone. To me, that is like a huge relief. Um, for some people, it's probably a big bummer. But again, I as far as computer processing speed and card space and videos, file sizes and everything, 6K is just... It's just not something that I need or want, and you're going to have to pay the price to both engineer it in this camera because the heating and everything else, but also the computer. In order to process all of that and take full advantage of that, you have to have like a super high-end crazy computer and everything. So I really like that they're keeping some of the small th or some of the things that that are very good about the X-T3 and not upgrading because of the price. I mean, if we're gonna get 6K, we're talking 2000 plus. Now I'm thinking this camera is gonna be more affordable and, and that really is one of the important reasons that this Fuji X-T3 has really made a, uh, uh, an impression on the market because they came in crazy specs, 
great camera, great everything, and affordably, uh, considerably affordable for what you get. Um, you know, for a twelve, thirteen hundred dollar camera and the Fuji XT3, you get a lot more than a lot of the competitors for more, more, more money. So there it is, guys. We should see it drop in late February. I think they said twenty fifth, twenty sixth. They're going to make the announcement. And I know I'm going to pre-order mine right away. Unless they don't do something stupid like want a ton of money for this camera, um, I'm going to go ahead and pre-order it so I can uh, show you guys some videos on it and uh, do some reviews. So there it is. Love to hear what you guys think. Are you going to pre-order it based on the, the new specs or are you going to hold on to your X-T2 and X-T3? I'm not selling my X-T2. Um, I love that camera. I'm going to keep it. Um, so I'm going to do another video on the whys. But, uh, but yeah, guys, the X-T4, uh, let me know what you think. Uh, leave down in the comments. Appreciate you watching. Take care. Thanks. Bye.